Well, thanks, Jackson, guys. Oh, great. Even, I didn't realize Jackson's aim in Dylan's universe. Raising a Daisy Frost is fan of Digital Circus is there. I, I do everything myself. Look, Mel Dylan, if you want to get fixed, you have to be, well, a uh, metal Thomas Jr. Maybe he can fix you. After all, he can stop Tommy to fix me. To stop saying struggle, Tommy. Uh, he needs to fix you after all. Well, you see, uh, your voice? Well, tip to my tongue, your voice is not sounding like a robot. I'm sorry. You need to fix as well. Because your voice is not sounding like a robot. Actual robot. Like a robot voice. Like, I have a robot voice. And it sounds cooler. You know what I mean? That's a class creep. So, maybe you need a robot voice too. To make more cooler. Interesting, more like a robot, because after all, a normal voice doesn't work like that. No, Dylan, it doesn't work like that. Not an actual robot, and perhaps to sound like Dylan. So, you need a robot voice sound like Dylan. So, not like to do this and that. And da, 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 da. I just sound like Daisy now. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I have a bunch of a bit in my voice. <laughs> uh, the robot voice saying, See? It's cooler with a robot voice. You like that better, because it, you know, you sound like an actual real robot, okay? You need to be fixed. And you understand that? Okay, good. So, what's Lee Jackson guess away, okay? From this, this option. And by the way, Mel Thomas Jr. will fix you after all. Come on, Dylan. Mel Dylan, let's get fixed you. Before uh, Daisy's gonna go hyper on this, oh boy. Yeah, Daisy is a fan of Dizzle Circus, so you gotta go down the train, but she did cosplay as Agatha, yeah, the doll, oh boy, let's go.